Hey everyone, my name is Alessandro Suriga. I am a cloud slash software engineer with the MITRE Corporation. And I'd like to share with you how we added SEC to our DevOps with Bamboo Inspector on AWS Fargate. So our platform for health and human services consists of over 10 microservices, all hosted on AWS, orchestrated by ECS, and utilizing serverless Fargate. So we have three environments, our demo, beta, and production, each in their own separate VPCs with no cross-communication. And our production and beta environments are FISMA moderate certified. These are the tools that we use. Locally, uh, we use a combination of Scout and Inspector for scanning, Mocha for unit testing, and Catalan for end-to-end -end testing post-deployment. So we scan our container images locally first, and this allows us to catch and patch the CVEs before they make it into our production images. Bamboo, part of the deployment step is put, uh, pushing the container image to the registry, and that kicks off an inspector scan. And every Monday, we provide HHS with a, an inspector report. And we've automated this by using EventBridge Scheduler. It kicks off a ECS task, which generates the report and emails it over to them without us having to do anything. But we don't want all of our images in the container registry showing up in that report, so we filter them down, and Inspector provides this functionality for us. We only include the production images in that report. But we also have encountered false positives, and we need the ability to filter those out as well. And to do that, we use suppression rules, and those get excluded from the report that gets emailed over to HHS. So Inspector offers continuous scanning, and we have leveraged EventBridge and SNS to notify us whenever they detect a critical or a high CVE in our production image. To minimize the CVEs in our production images, the, the easiest step that we took is using the smallest base image. You've got plenty of choices, but we've gone with Alpine Linux. You can see there's zero there. You also want to update your dependencies often. So every time you work on a feature branch, go ahead and update those packages. Use the LTS versions and don't wait, wait for end of life to upgrade your versions. Now, serverless is great because with the shared responsibility model, AWS is responsible for hardening the underlying infrastructure and we can focus on container image development. Well, we do use a lot of open source, and with open source, you have uh, new challenges. And you can see here, these tools contain a good amount of CVEs. So how do we handle this? The first step we take is to open an issue in GitHub. Let them know you've encountered a CVE, and they will tell you either go pound sand, we don't like that response, this is a false positive. Don't trust your inspector software. Do trust us, though. Uh, number three is, actually, we will fix it. We don't know when, but we'll get around to it sometime. But you do have options that you can take. Number one is uh, customizing your Docker file. Now, you can do this and switch package versions in there, but I recommend being cautious with this and only doing this in minor or patch versions. You can break functionality. The last option is, well, you become an open source contributor and you fix the CVs yourself in open source code. But uh, that's going to take away from your app development and your boss not, might not be happy with that. And um, so you are going to end up, we have ended up with unremediated CVEs. So we provide our customer documentation of what, uh, how we've mitigated these risks, and they can assess and either accept or decline that risk. So the takeaway here is please use the smallest base image possible, scan your container images often, and if you can get a tool that 
does continuous image scanning, that would be great. If you can use serverless, that's also great. And uh, have at least a beta and a prod environment. Thank you.